good morning children two days before i have sent you one video which is not so clear to you all so today i am sending the remaining part of chapter 2 please see the link and also if you have any problem regarding chapter 1 and 2 i can take zoom class also but you have to inform your class teacher so that i can discuss with her when to take class so today i am going to explain the common laboratory equipment and apparatus which are very very essential in chemistry lab today we will explain about the lab coat you know very well that lab coat is also known as lab apron or coat and it is very useful to because it prevent us from injury in case of any spills or splashes spills or splashes means which can cause or allow to flow over so that it prevent our body from being burned now we have to explain that is the beaker beaker you know it is a container used for mixing stirring and heating chemicals most of the beakers you have seen it has got spouts on their rims this is used to uh, a, to add the it is used to help in pouring they are commonly some of the beakers are commonly have markings to measure the volume because they are of different sizes it may be of 50 ml 100 ml 200 ml 500 ml this type of beakers you can get in the chemistry lab now we will discuss with the flask flask you can see it is commonly known as conical flask you can see in the figure that it has a narrow neck and it has got expands towards its base and the neck is of great importance because it allow easy mixing and swirling of the flask swirling you know very well that is it is used for making either twisting or the uh, twisting or making the uh, means different spiral pattern okay it is a you can see it is used need to move in a twisting or spiraling the spiraling in pattern it is of great importance because it allow the use of a rubber or a glass stopper we can use just in the mouth of the neck it can also be clamped to a ring stand as well as heated or it can be shaken mechanically now the use of the funnel funnel can be made up of plastic or glass it can either have a short stem or a long stem it depends on whatever we need it can of various sizes it can be a small it can be a big and you can see it is mostly used in the process of filtration and you have also used this funnel at home also to pour the oil in a bottle to pour the distilled water in a inverter battery for all these purposes we are using funnel at home also now the dropper dropper is used for adding a very small amount of liquid drop by drop because when we are doing the chemical reaction sometimes we need some of the chemicals to add drop by drop so dropper is also very very essential in chemistry lab now the pipette it is used for transferring one substance into another by measuring sometimes we want to measure first we measured with the help of the pipette pipette is of also of different size it may be 10 ml it may be 20 it may be 25 and so on we can easily measure the liquid in the pipette and then we can add in another um, beaker or other measuring part so it is used to transfer the substance from one part to another now the use of wire gauge wire gauge is used to support a container while it is heating 
and the tripod stand it is a three leg stand that supports the wire gauge while heating you can see the tripod stand it is a three leg and just above it we put the wire gauge so that when we are heating any beaker or conical flask it can, we put the wire gauge over it and then we heat so that it they cannot be tilted now the iron stand it consists of iron platform with an iron rod and one or two you can see clamp is there it is used to suspend and hold an apparatus sometimes in the clamp we clamp the test tube also we clamp the burette also sometimes we also clamp some thread to do the practicals so for clamp is also essential in chemistry lab now the test tube test tube is used for holding samples in very less quantity it is also used for carrying out small reactions it is also used to add the accurate measurement of water in some of the chemicals for that for heating some of the chemicals in with the help of the test tube so all these are needed test test tube is needed for all these purposes now the test tube stand it is used for keeping the test tube upright otherwise if you don't have a stand then test tube will tilted and all the chemicals will fall so to get the reaction also we sometimes use test tube stand after pouring something in the test tube we keep it in a test tube stand to see the result now the test tube holder or tongs to hold the test tube while heating we need test tube holder or tongs without this we cannot touch with our hand naked hand naked fingers so we have to use that is the tongs or the test tube holder now to clean the test tube we need test tube brush because if you won't clean the test tube if some of the chemicals remain in that test tube and if we add another chemicals in that then the reaction will start and we won't get the proper result so test tube brush is also also essential to clean test tubes and it is also used as a narrow mouth glassware now the measuring cylinder it is a graduated cylinder made up of glass it is available in different capacities it may be 100 ml it may be 500 ml it may be 50 ml it may be 100 ml it is used for measuring the volume of liquids now the porcelain dish it is used for evaporating liquids or connect or concentrating solution if we want to evaporate the liquid when we are preparing the just for example if you are preparing the salt solution and if you want the water to evaporate so we keep it in the porcelain dish for overnight and after few days what we see we see all the water is escaped out only left is the salt so with the help of the porcelain dish all the evaporating liquids we can do it with the help of this one now the watch glass watch glass is used for holding small samples of the substances on which the experiment is performed if we want to check anything we first you drop it in the watch glass we see the experiment what anything if we want to add acid or anything we first drop it in the watch glass and see and then we use in other substances we can also cover the porcelain dish we use the watch glass now the mortar and pestle it is used to crush solids into powder for experiment usually to dissolve the solids better it is made up of porcelain and you know very well porcelain is made up of either clay or which we call it as a chinni mitti either clay or sand so this are uh, is also very very important because to make the solid into a powder and then we use it to dissolve in the water otherwise it will take a long time to dissolve the solid so we have to first crush it the solid and then we add in the test tube that powder form and then we dissolve it 
now we will explain that is the spirit lamp spirit lamp is also used for heating purposes spirit lamp is made up of glass or steel tank which contains spirit it has a neck through which a cotton wick passes when lighted the wick soaks up the spirit and it starts burning nowadays we are not using spirit lamp in the laboratory we are using the bunsen burner it is used for heating and exposing items of the flame it is use it uses gases as the fuel here we are using the gas gas is coming in the pipeline and we just the here you can see one end in the figure there is one rod type is there there we connected the pipe the gas is coming from that pipe and we just switch on that lamp and it starts burning and so this is the way how we are doing in the with the help of our gas how we are using the bunsen burner now the reagent bottle reagent bottle is also used for storing strong chemicals because when we are using if we are not using the reagent bottle because all the bottles cannot hold the chemicals otherwise it will break it made up of either white or colored glass some of the chemicals we need colored glass because some of the chemicals can decompose in the presence of sunlight so we need white glass also or colored glass also in the laboratory now the burette burette is a graduated glass tube with a tap at one end for delivering known volumes of a liquid this specially we are doing in titration and when you will go in our classes i will explain you what is titration and how we are using the burette burette we can easily you have seen the clamp there we can easily tighten the clamp burette in that clamp and we can do the titration now the here three definition is given one is the experiment a procedure a study to find the cause of something or to make a discovery apparatus materials or devices used in the laboratory to carry out tests swirling moving something in a twisting or spiraling pattern so please learn this chapter and please practice all the Yeah, laboratory equipment and apparatus the diagram is very very important all the figures which are given is very very important because in the question in the examination it will ask the question like this draw five common laboratory equipment or apparatus so any five you have to draw so please practice all these figures which are very very important now very short answers question take the correct answer question number 1 which of the following is used for storing strong chemicals that is reagent bottle which among the following medicines is used for treating the part affected by acid burns that is dilute solution of sodium bicarbonate now the next is which among the following describes the figure shown alongside that is the beaker this is used to hold beakers while heating that is tongs it is used to suspend and hold apparatus that is iron stand now fill in the blanks never wear contact lenses in the laboratory second while heating chemicals you should keep mouth of the test tube away from yourself never inhale gases or vapor mortar and pestle is used to ground solid substances into powder funnel is used for pouring liquids during filtration now match the following column a first one is given dropper dropper is to add liquid drop by drop second wire gauge it is used to support containers while heating test tube brush to clean test tubes fourth porcelain dish to evaporate liquids or concentrate solution fifth reagent bottles to store strong chemicals now short answer questions what is the use of beaker i have already given the answer after this video 
बिकर इज यूज फॉर मिक्सिंग मेजरिंग एंड पोरिंग लिक्विड केमिकल्स इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर स्टरिंग एंड हीटिंग केमिकल्स राइट डाउन द सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशंस टू बी फॉलोड इन द केमिकल लेबोरेटरी इट इज गिवन इन पेज फिफ्टीन दैट इज द सेफ्टी रेगुलेशन नेम सम बिल्डिंग मेटीरियल्स मैनुफैक्चर्ड बाई केमिकल प्रोसेस इट इज गिवन आफ्टर दिस पेज what is a first aid box that is also written after this page list any five laboratory equipment and their uses that is also given now the scientific question that is also i have written after this video now fill in the blanks fill in the blanks first one is dash when added to u to the soil makes the soil more productive that is manure second a reagent bottle is used for storing strong chemicals third herbicides are pesticides that are used to control unwanted herbaceous plants long molecules with a head and a tail are called surfactants synthetic fibers are more durable than natural fibers fossil fuels are ecologic deposits of organic material a funnel is used in the process of filtration one should always pour acid into water for dilution and not the reverse way antony lavoisier is known as the father of modern chemistry chemistry has three main branches coal petroleum and natural gas are the three main types of fossil fuels john dalton is known as the father of atomic theory Terricot is a semi-synthetic fiber and it is made from terrelin and cotton. Fossil fuels contain high percentage of carbon. Industrialization has depleted natural resources and has harmed our environment. Recreation is the spending of time in pleasurable activities. A lab coat helps in preventing injury in the case of spills or splashes. Alchemists were people who practiced of converting metals to gold now i have told you that answers i have given what is the use of a beaker beaker is used for mixing and pouring liquid chemicals it is also used for stirring and heating chemicals first second question given in page 15 that is in the safety regulation name some building material manufactured by chemical process that is cement glass stainless steel plastic bricks steel alloy etc What is a first aid box? A first aid box is a collection of medical supplies and equipment that is used to give medical treatment. Question number five, given in page sixteen to eighteen, that is in the common laboratory or equipments. Now the scientific quest. Here the question is: Why are the gases dried, and how are this process is carried out? Uh, gases are dried to prevent any water present in it from freezing and to restore combustive power this process is carried out either by evaporation or by a source of heat and or drying agent to remove the vapor produced now we will explain the second one what is the water that we use to make solution in a laboratory called where do you get that water from distilled water is used to make solution in laboratory we can get from most grocery stores or from auto parts stores or you can get from the petroleum uh, petrol um, pump also and pharmacies also or we can prepare in laboratory by distillation method so this is the end of the chapter now please go through the chapter very nicely and i have told you if you have any problem you can ask you can discuss with your class teacher then i will take the zoom class so please this is the end of the chapter goodbye